Hi and welcome to Triple A. You fucking bunch of twats. <laughs> I'm Amy. I'm Amy. And I'm Caitlin. On today's show, we're going to be showing you how to make a paper mache spoon. Now, for this, you can try paint it silver and give it a christening, or you can use a few cereal. But make sure you gloss it first, or else it'll go soggy, like your cereal and your life. And don't forget, it's Christmas, the time of joy in gift giving and crippling debt. Now, to save you from buying those expensive gifts for those family members, such as my great aunt Margaret who got me a watch last year, even though she's a giant cow, I have decided to make some glistening snowflakes. Yay! Now remember guys, when giving this gift, you're gonna have to put your special voice on, because to get away with it, you're gonna have to think you're a little bit retarded. Whoa! Not too much glitter there, Caitlin. Are you actually calling me fat? Are you calling me fat? Are you seriously calling me fat? I only had two biscuits in the break. Because of this, I'm supposed to be good at it. Right, yeah, okay. Okay. Love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make, yes, you guessed it, <laughs> divorce papers. <laughs> For this, you're going to need divorce papers a pen and a knife to kill your ex with. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Greg. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick up the pen and the divorce papers and you're going to want to find the dotted line. Now, um, I found the dotted line here and you're going to want to sign it with your signature. Okay, like so. <laughs> but be careful not to go through the paper like I just have. <laughs> okay, secondly, you're going to want to grab the knife <laughs> and you're going to want to approach your ex and cut off his testicles. Yes, cut off his testicles, which I have done beforehand. Um, you're next going to want to grab, yes, PVA glue. You're going to need PVA glue for this and you're going to want to grab your ex's testicles and Sorry about that guys, it appears that we are balls deep in technical difficulties. Now to make your spoon, you're going to need some paper mache. So for this, you're going to want to try and crumple it up into a shape of a spoon. Just try and make it like a spoon. Like a spoon. Fuck's sake! Do you know what? Just buy one from fucking Sainsbury's like I did. Paint it, no one gives a shit. It's a fucking spoon! Okay, we do your fucking snowflakes! Well, that was an experience. Let's just hope that she finds someone to spoon with before the next segment. Anyway, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make some snowflakes for Christmas, yay! Now, these are really easy and simple to make. You'll probably have loads of them in no time. Um, you'll probably have enough for three Christmases worth. <laughs> now, what you need is paper, glue, glitter, and some scissors. You need to ask an adult or someone's permission to use them. Okay. Right, what you do is make a square out of the paper. You need to make a square every time. You can't make the little ones, you've got to make the big ones. And fuck the trees, there's enough of them. Just waste paper, not your head. Now what you need to do is open it up. You need to make sure that you get it into eight triangles and fold it. So it looks like this, and then fold it again. So you have a triangle that looks like this. Now this is the difficult part, we need to cut out bits of the triangle. You need to do this delicately, so that you're not to break the triangle. Here we go, you can do this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I need to start cutting big bits of cake. And little bits of cake. <laughs> no, just delicately, yeah? Okay, we can, we can do this. Just cut a bit out there. Cut a bit out here. I'm doing this very fast, just to... Show you. You can spend longer on it and make it more detailed. Be nice. 
something like mine. Yay! Now, if you put in a face in when you open it, it should look a bit like this. Or, obviously different, but it should have all the shapes in. Now you could leave it like this and put it on all of the windows, but we're not boring. So what we're gonna do is cover it in glue, and then cover it in glitter. budget just take the materials from your son or daughter or a small child. Susie, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Susie, get me. Susie, give me that fucking thing. Got them. That's okay. That material's great with a fucking nice black. find yourself in a state of disability, then you can always try um, perhaps pimping out your mobility aids like Pimp My Crutch, for example. I said Pimp My Crutch, Greg. That was a personal video between me and you. Anyway, um, all you need to do for this is have a crutch. <laughs> and you have to give it back to the hospital afterwards. You should probably put like cling film, kitchen roll, that sort of thing, just to stop it from like proper staining it. But in this case, I don't give a fuck. I can have it back pimped. It'll look better anyway. So I'm gonna stick everything on this. Literally whatever I want. I'm gonna cover it in shit. I might even use some of those shitty snowflakes. And of course, tinsel. Because what would be better than rustling as you moved along the street? Everybody loves a rustly crutch, hmm? Yeah? Great. So yeah, have fun with it. Send in some pictures of how yours look later. For other aids, why don't you try to pimp my wheelchair? Or pimp my Zimmer frame? Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for on today's show. Join us next week where... Right. Join us next week where we'll be looking at handmade vajazzles and how to cover up chlamydia with pom-pom balls. <laughs> Only on AAA. Cut. <laughs>